What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna to be starting our AWS series. Now, AWS to me always seemed really complicated compared to Azure because I started with Azure and I knew it really well. And so when I started using AWS, it just seemed like a whole nother world. So if you've already gone through my Azure series, that's really good because I'm gonna reference it quite a bit to make some comparisons, but we still will be focusing mainly on the AWS portion of it. In this series, we'll be getting everything set up. We're looking at S3 buckets, Amazon Athena, Glue, Glue Data Brew, and QuickSight. And so that's a lot of different tools within AWS. And these are ones that I think are really, really important to know how to use. In this video, we're going to be creating an account and doing a walkthrough of the user interface. So without further ado, let's jump on my screen and get started. All right, so what we're going to be doing is creating an AWS account, looking at the UI within AWS, just getting familiar with it before we jump into some of the tools within AWS. Now here, I'll have this link down in the description. We are going to get started for free. So let's come right here. And what we want is the AWS free tier. With the free tier, we get a lot of things within AWS completely for free. Of course, there are some things that are not underneath the umbrella of the free tier, and so we won't be using those, but we will be able to do everything in this series with just the free account. So let's go ahead and create our free account. We need to sign up for AWS. Let's go ahead and verify this email address. So I'm going to use my Alex, the analyst YT at gmail.com. And my account name is going to be Alex, the analyst. And we'll do AWS. I got the code. I'm going to put it in here and verify this. Now we need to select our password. So I'm going to put my password in right here. There we go. Let's go ahead and click continue. Now within this free tier, we get a few different things. One, uh, the free services that were within AWS, they're never gonna expire. You'll get them free always, which is really great. Um, we also get 12 months free for certain services, and we'll look at that in just a little bit. And these things activate from when our trial actually starts. So let's go ahead and fill out all this information, and then we will continue. Now, if we do use any services, we have to have billing on hand in case we use something that is not free or we go above the free tier. And so you have to input some type of credit or debit card number just in case you do that. Within what we're doing, we shouldn't be doing that. Or if we do, it'll cost like 10 cents. And so it should be super, super cheap. So go ahead and fill in your information here. Next, we need to confirm our identity. I'm going to have it send me a text message so that I can uh, fill this out. So go ahead and do that as well. All right, we're gonna go ahead and select continue. And now we need to sign up for a support plan. Now we're using a free account, so we don't really need support. Now, if you are just, you're feeling wild uh, and you wanna get something like developer support, you can if you're encountering issues um, or if you're using AWS for business, maybe you want business support. Uh, you know what, go for it. I'm not gonna stop you, but we're gonna be using uh, the free support because uh, I don't wanna pay for it. So let's go ahead and complete our sign up. And just like that, we have created our AWS account. Let's go to the AWS Management Console. Now we're actually gonna sign in with our account. Now we are a root user, so we're gonna come in here, we're gonna put in our email address and sign in. All right, we are all signed in. Let's go ahead and click Next. Done and done and done and get rid of all this stuff. Now this is our console home. You'll notice that it's very, very blank. We don't have anything that we've recently visited. We don't have any applications running. We don't have any cost uh, going either. And so once we actually start using some of these services, when we get into glue and start automating things, you know, you might have a cost, but it should be under the free tier, but you will have a cost. When we start using databases and instances and all these different things, these things are compute and resources that AWS offers. And so we'll be able to see and monitor a lot of those things within this home console right here. You can also customize this console home if you want to. So if you want to come in here and add widgets, you can add different metrics or different things that you want in here. But we're not going to be doing that in this lesson. So let's take a look at this UI really quick. On this left hand side, we have services. If we come here, this is all the services that AWS offers. And I'm just going to kind of slowly scroll down. We have compute, containers, storage, databases, machine learning, Keep going down a little bit. We have analytics. For this series, we're going to be focusing on things in this analytics tab. So right in here, we're also going to be looking at some stuff in the databases. And then, of course, S3 for S3 buckets. This is where you can access all the resources and all the services within AWS. 
Another thing to note is this right up here, which is our region. Now I'm in US East, but make sure you have the appropriate one that you're using. The region actually is uh, pretty important if you choose one that's really far away. So you're gonna have some latency and some delays on retrieving data or using different services. And so make sure this is the correct one for you. Lastly, if we come over here, you can notice in your account, we have account, organization, service quotas, billing and cost management, and security credentials. The two that I think are really important is account and billing and cost management. If we go over to billing, this is an actual service uh, within AWS. You can look at all of your costs. And so as you start using these different services, you're gonna wanna come in here and make sure you're not you know, spending too much money. Just as an example, we use AWS for Analyst Builder. And so in here, we track all of our costs, all of our bills, everything associated with AWS for our platform. And so in here, we track a lot of stuff and we have different metrics and different flags that we uh, have in case we go over a certain amount or if something isn't working and so we monitor uh, you can create monitoring stuff you can monitor a lot of stuff in this billing and cost management home uh, which also was really important when i was a manager and we were using aws and then lastly of course we have our account within here there's a ton of stuff like bills payments you know if you want to change your credit card and all these different things so this is a really good place to come and just be familiar with so let's just go back to the services real quick while we close out and we'll go to all services and view all services so this is what we're going to be focusing on in the next several lessons we're going to be looking at things like s3 storage Let's come down here. I think we're gonna be looking at Athena, AWS Glue Data Brew, AWS Glue, and a few others as well. So we're gonna be in here. We're gonna be learning a ton of stuff about AWS. And hopefully by the end of the series, you'll be really familiar with AWS. You feel really confident putting it on your resume and actually knowing how to use it. So I hope that this was helpful getting everything set up. If you have not already, be sure to check out my full AWS and Azure course on analystbuilder.com. And if you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe. I will see you in the next video.